We're the window washing drone project. So I'm Ed, this is Matt, and this is also Matt. We're building a drone that can clean windows on high-rise buildings. Yeah, why window washing? I wouldn't say I have a passion for washing windows, but being able to take uh, drones, which are a pretty new and exciting thing, and find any way to get our hands dirty on that and find lots of different ways to bring electrical engineering to that is something that's really important, and this was just a convenient idea. In terms of uh, our roles on the project, uh, Matt here has been looking at integrating the sensors to detect where windows are and looking at the software as to how we can get that to communicate with the drone. Uh, Matt here has been looking at controlling the drone through software and also uh, making sure we've got enough power through the tether. And I've been looking at uh, the external washing system and being able to sort of connect all the hardware together. We chose to take part in Road to Endeavour because it gave us a chance to really show off our project. Um, we're really proud of what we've worked on and built up. Um, and we thought this was a great chance to get it out there and demonstrate our engineering talent so far. Uh, this week we've been finishing off our PCB design, which is working on the computer chips that go inside our, our housing here. With that done, we're really collating everything together, trying to get the final build done to be able to actually get up and clean some windows. We've been doing a lot of testing of the drone's fine movement control, being able to turn moving six metres for nice camera angles, which was what this drone was designed for, into moving a couple of centimetres across a window and be able to moves really uh, smoothly down the window as well. So I've been working on a few things. A lot of the software um, is still having to be built up for the drone because it's actually a really big project to try and have it orient itself to a window and then position itself around a window and going up to it and that sort of thing. I really like the uh, high level sort of scope of it and it's really involved, you know, lots of different elements of design from software, hardware, electrical work um, and it's been really fun to just jump into lots of little different parts and try and make it all fit together. Um, that's what I've really enjoyed about the project. The drone at this point can't tell whether it's clean or dirty but we can do a really great job of making sure it's clean by getting a really fine motion down the window. That is definitely a sensor we could put on in the future to be able to visually recognise the state of the window, see if there's streaks, any suds or anything left on the window and take that off. The plan is for our drone to be fully autonomous. At the moment we have autonomous control loops where the drone can sense the window move up to it and clean it in a, an algorithm. But the ability to turn that from cleaning one window into cleaning a whole building is something that we'd love to tackle maybe next year. So we've got the drone's cleaning mechanism here, but what we need to do, what I need to do right now is um, be able to feed water into this, because obviously we can't clean it without water or some cleaning fluid. So what we're gonna do is have some tubes running through this and they're gonna be pumped up into the drone. So basically I just need to get that connected right now. I think what we're looking forward to at Endeavour is just demonstrating the project to a whole lot of different people, from lecturers to industry partners and a whole range of different people, including the public. 